Hello YouTube, it's me X Thomas Nex. Uh, I know it's been a while since the last uh, video, but I've been kind of busy with life and stuff. Um, I just want to show you something I made here on uh, my server that I'm running. Uh, we are three people on this server uh, right now, and um, it's all built by hand and uh, in survival mode. So let's go and check. Oh, I need to go in here to my teleporter, and we can start up here actually. <coughs> Sorry, I'm having a cold as well, so that's why my voice is so weird. Uh, here's my battery charger. It basically does. Sound work. Um, it pulls empty batteries out, uh, put them into the battery box, charge them up. When they are full, they will uh, put it back into this other chest. Yep, like that. <laughs> and I have a solar array up there. Just cheating my weather right now. For the sake of this video, here is another ender chest with lava in it and we are going to have a look on that in a sec. Uh, here's my... Uh, this is basically doing the same thing as the battery uh, over there. It's just pulling lava bucks from the chest up there. Uh, down to these uh, geothermal generators and it produces uh, power to this MFSU, which again doesn't do much right now, it just powers um, the uh, teleporter and uh, a cart system here with the MFSU on it as well, which goes to another teleporter which you will see right now. So if I go down here and to the nether port. With the sound, come on. Yeah, and I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had to try and fix the sound bug. Don't know it, if it worked though. Um, yeah, uh, we're going through the uh, the portal in a sec. Uh, but here's the MFU card, which is uh, um, coming from uh, where we saw earlier. The MFSU. Uh, no, the geothermal generators produces power and it's getting sent over here. Down this way. And it unloads its power to another MFSU over there, which power the portal teleporter um, over there. Uh, here's just another system I'm working on. Um, I s watched uh, Direwolf 20s. Um, multiplayer and he made something like this but he just had one row and I was thinking to myself why not make it uh, two axes instead of one so this will actually have items in all the chests and it will go up and right and left but uh, it, it, the problem isn't building it, it, it is uh, program <laughs> programming the computer uh, I have to learn that. So here's just some, 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 some. Uh, I can uh, thermal pipes, of course. Charging the bad box will that will charge these engines, and some mag tubes. But let's go through the portal. Come on, to my power station. As you can see, I built quite a lot in here. Um, yeah, this is just a temporary door opener. Uh, it's gonna be a computer uh, system here as well. So here's my control room. Uh, this lever uh, acts for both systems here. Um, no, sorry, this lever does. This is for the charger only. Um, 
and this is for the pump and the transporter of lava. So I'm gonna turn everything off right now. And uh, what this ba basically does is that it pumps lava with the Red Power 2 pump and uh, pumps it straight from the nether. Hopefully, there's no gas there. So yeah, I've been pumping quite a bit in here. Um, but there is plenty, I hope. Yeah, I have been having some problem with gas blowing up the tubes, and uh, it took me some while the first time it happened to actually figure out what happened because I don't usually go down here. But oh well, I know what the problem is if it happens again. So this pumps uh, lava into this uh, holding tank, which has uh, deployers, two deployers on each side, uh, one deployer on each side, sorry. Uh, when the lava bucket is full, it pumps through here into this ender chest, and uh, yeah, you saw that ender chest in the other dimension. And this basically just uh, pulls out empty buckets. And I hooked up some lighting system, and yeah, we can have a look at that. Uh, yeah, um, the, these state cells are here just because when I am clicking this lever, I want to have some delay, so it doesn't turn straight on. So you can see the red stays on for a bit, and now it's okay. Now it's running fully operational. Uh, same for these two. And So the lever is going up here, and then this one is powering for what? Uh, yeah, this one is powering the uh, uh, transporter of lava. So when um, the signal is here, it basically goes through the state cell. And Toggle on or off the red light. There. It's just—it's really simple. Really, it's just me not being good at uh, nice wiring. I—I I know how to do wiring stuff, but I don't uh, usually get it as nice as other people do. Uh, and here's just a switch. Turn, turns everything on. There. So that's that's just one use of this uh, pump. <coughs> I know I know you could use the industrial craft uh, thingy pump and have it in cans and stuff like that. But I I wanted to do something uh, different than 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 doing that, and I I think it looks a lot nicer to do this as well. And I have to think: is there anything else I want to show you? Yeah, and I I do have a um, teleport tether in here, but that actually didn't work. So I had to use uh, from Railcraft the um, uh, world anchor head. Yeah, this one. I had to use this one because that that works uh, through the dimensions, and the teleport tether didn't for some reason. <sighs> So if I go back, so I I don't want to take credit for everything built in here, but uh, I mostly did everything. Uh, the sound bug is back. Jesus. Yeah, it's, it, it it is this uh, water mill system that's making the noise. Yeah, I think I fixed it again. And this lever actually switches the power between giving power to the machines and uh, giving power to the MFSU teleporter.
software here. Um, I'm I'm working on this system. I'm not sure if it's work, working right now, so I just keep keeps it on all the time. Mm. And I have some solar systems, but it, it's mostly windmills. And here's the solar uh, array thingy for um, uh, for the battery charger down there and, and and stuff like that. But it is not don't don't use a lot of battery boxes. I figure that out. It's just um, waste of resources, and um, you won't have the same amount of power in that one battery box down there because it's it's getting spread to every single battery box but it looks nice <laughs> that's the only thing and here I'm working on um, a automatic system for harvesting and uh, planting uh, crops and here I'm using a red power to computer So, it should work. Uh, it's broken. It's broken. Well, I'm gonna fix that. And here's my first build. This is basically basically just a dark room. Um, puts everything into bone mill. When it's not room in there anymore, it puts it to diamonds. And when there's a diamond in there, it's getting cold up, ah, like so. And up into this uh, array thing. Yeah. I don't know the name of it. It produces red matter. So as you can see here, it's just condensing down to red matter here, and this is this one is going a bit faster because it get it gets the diamonds, and all the red matter is getting pulled up here and to a chest inside my house. Um, the street lights are automatically activated uh, by a uh, sens light sensor. So if I turn it to Oh, let's do, do not. Yep, there. They are popping on. There's my wool factory, also inspired by their wool. I can actually turn it on. No. So everything you can, yeah, basically everything you see from this point and out, I built, and everything you see from this point point and out. It's my friend. Mm, he's not that into mods. He's just he he loves building stuff, and he is doing a good job of it as well. Uh, I think this is his my new chat. Uh, yeah, he also built over here. I want my quantum suit. I'm working on. I I was actually thinking of making the uh, geothermal generators um, go to uh, uh, yeah the machine that produces uh, uranium. Ah uh, yeah, he built some nice lighting in here. Stuff here. I think this is where his teleport is going to be. Down to my teleporting hub. So it's a work in progress. Uh, I don't know what this is, but it's, it's something. It's something. He's getting there. Uh, this is my other friend. He just, he basically just started. He he loves, uh, he, he uses a lot more of the mods than the other guy do. So you can see his name is Adrian. So, but I think that's basically it. I've shown you everything yeah that's basically everything
no, I will make a, another video. If, um, oh, I know, sec. What kind of sorcery is this? Suddenly it just works. Awesome. But it's not going to do anything here because uh, I need to um, tile the earth. So figure out some way to do that. Maybe just. I, I don't know if the deployer with a hoe works. But I can test that out. I usually do my builds in the test world first. So. I know mm, almost all the resources I'm going to use, and the designs are not the same as in my test world. Um, they usually get some improvements, and and uh, being a lot smaller than in my test world, because I know how to build it and and what works and what doesn't. Uh, this one I didn't build in my test world first in my single player. I built this. Uh, all here, that's why it's so chunky and big, ugly. Uh, I might just remove everything. But yeah, thank you for watching and um, have a nice day.